California is starting to get ready for a flood of new applications for driver's licenses. In the next few years, people who fly will need a new form of ID or a passport, even for a domestic flight. KTV's Amber Lee, live now in Oakland, she spoke with people in line at the DMV about the federal law that requires a more secure form of identification. Amber. Julie, most people I spoke with at the DMV had not heard about the upcoming change. Nobody liked it, but they did say it may be necessary. On Monday evening, near closing time, the lines at this DMV office in East Oakland are long, up to a two-hour wait. I look at it now. Look how many people. I mean, it's already crazy. And those lines are likely to get even longer. By October 1st, 2020, every person who flies domestically will need a passport or a new driver's license or a California ID card that is up to federal standards. It sounds like an extra level of inconvenience. Security weaknesses in driver licenses exposed by the September 11, 2001 terrorist attacks led Congress to approve a law in 2005 called the U.S. Real ID Act, which requires these federally compliant IDs. This new driver's license thing, is, uh, this is kind of caught me off guard. I wasn't ready for this. Californians can apply for these so-called real IDs starting next January. I was very surprised to hear that, that we have to do a separate driver's license and we have to get them in person. People will need to apply at the DMV in person and provide a birth certificate, two documents showing California residency, and a Social Security card. The new cards will bear special markings that can be checked before boarding a flight. If I have to fly somewhere, I'm going to do what's necessary to do to get there. About half the United States are already in compliance with the federal standards. California received an extension. Now the DMV is planning to hire additional staff to deal with the increased applications. We also have to make changes to the card design. That's going to cost as well. Um, but a big chunk of that is to add some staff. We will be ramping that up over a six-year period. Back at the DMV, nobody liked the idea of longer lines, but say safety over inconvenience. Well, I believe national security is, uh, is top priority. And kind of whatever they have to do, they have to do. Again, the, this applies to anyone who flies unless you bring your passport. Starting October 1st, 2020, you won't be able to use your normal license to board a plane. You ma must have one of those federally compliant driver's license or California ID to get on that plane. Julie, Frank. And Amber, is the DMV still recommending that you make a reservation or appointment to get in to save time when you're there? Absolutely. They always recommend that you make a reservation to avoid long lines, but even a reservation doesn't guarantee that you won't have to wait. All right. Amber Lee, live tonight in Oakland. Thanks, Amber.